Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Uchi, and I'm back again, once again. Real quick, right quick, next quick. I wanted to kind of show you guys some things that I got last week over at GameStop. Picked up a couple things for the Nintendo Switch that I kind of want to open up and show you guys what they look like, what you're getting in the box, how they work, and maybe a little bit of play testing for those that are interested for more information on how they feel. And since I couldn't get my hands on any more Dragon Ball Super card packs, I figured I might as well kind of bring something back that I used to do, which is unboxings, openings, and weekly pickup type of things. So, without further ado, first on the list, we got the Nyko Power Kit. Purpose of this, I bought this with the intention of bringing my Switch to Summer Jam, which is a tournament that I just previously came back from in order for me not to have to bring my whole dock and I did want something to just charge my switch in case I used it and had to charge it overnight or whenever I needed to charge it. So I figured I would have picked this up since it is the cheaper option. It's not the official Nintendo one. However, it is detachable and it's not all one cable like the official Nintendo one is. Okay, so the official Nintendo one like I said, is more expensive. It's actually $10 more at $30. This is around 20, so $19.99, whatever. And it comes with just the power cube here, which is obviously branded by Nyko. You can pull out the power part to it. And then here is the USB end that you plug in the USB. So obviously, I mean, if you already have a USB-C cable, you can obviously use it. And here it is. So let me unravel this so you guys can kind of see. Ooh, it's a rubber band. That's new. Normally you get like a tie, twisty tie or some John like that. So, oh, wow, this is actually longer than I expected. All right, so this is probably a six footer. Oh, it's an eight. It's an eight foot cable. You <laughs> like? I should just read the box. Just read the box, and sometimes it'll tell you. Eight foot cable, nice and lengthy, so you can kind of pretty much charge this. You don't have to be necessarily bedside with your switch. You can put it, you know, wherever the outlet may be if it's in an inconvenient spot. And voila, there it is. Also, I wanted to go over another Nintendo Switch item. The newest Hori Pad. Now, I understand this didn't this came out not too long ago. I saw a couple of reviews of it myself. The purpose of me buying this was actually to use it and try it out with games like Splatoon and ARMS. I know that a lot of people um, are looking for other kind of variables to play the fighting games are available on Nintendo Switch, being Ultra Street Fighter 2 or Grow Mark of the Wolves or even any of the King of Fighters games that are available on the eShop. But right now, if you can't afford that full-on arcade stick, this is probably the next best option. So I kind of wanted to get my own grasp of it, especially since it was only at a whopping 30 buckaroos. And of course, this is actually, an, obviously it's an official Nintendo licensed product right here, and it's made by Hori. So Hori is known to make pretty good products. Um, they make the Pokin pads, they make their own arcade sticks, and now they made their own little fight pad here with a detachable knob that you can actually just put right on to the back. And here it is. All right. So the thumbsticks are, they're a little more elevated from what I can tell the buttons are actually not bad and I also like how the start the start and the well these are basically they're both they're two start buttons but the plus and the minus button right here they are actually in good spots where you really there's no chance a high chance that you do not hit these in the middle of playing of course you have your home button here and your share button your capture button there so you can take uh, screenshots right there Oh, and you have a turbo button here, so this this can be used as a turbo controller if you do play any of the side scrollers that they offer. There are instructions in the box with uh, directions on how to set those up in case you do want to utilize the turbo functions and the D-pad. Oh, okay, so the D-pad has you know obviously your arcade type, arcade fighter type of feel. You can just roll your quarter circle forward, your half circles, all those jumps right there. And then if you want, you can just, yeah, so it snaps right in and you can just lift up on it and it comes right off. And then you could use the buttons as your direction, your D-pad if you really wanted to. I'm not really sure why you would want to do this or if there's any games that you might want to actually have just direct you know, up, down, left, right type of configuration. And then you can simply just 
put your d-pad right here so you don't have to just leave it around and you know possibly lose it because that would suck and i'm not sure if they make any more of these i'm pretty sure they will or they do already but yep so it goes right back in snaps right back in it's nice the cable all right now this john looks very long just from looking at it oh yeah this is probably another this is maybe an eight foot let me see if it says on the box nope not seeing anything on the box but i'm guessing it's possibly another eight to ten feet is my guess so but that's that's actually a really good lengthy wire right here usb three i'm gonna guess but one thing i do wonder if you could use this on the pc i'm not sure if it actually said if it was specifically other other otherwise i'm sure that there are going to be drivers and functionalities that you can use this on pc i don't see why not especially since the poking pad you can use on anything you can use it on a ps4 i don't know why but another thing i definitely do want to test this out on is poking when that comes out even though i will probably be oh well like i said i will be trying this out with arms and i will be trying it out with uh, splatoon more specifically for arms because going to tournaments and uh, competing in arms i have found it quite annoying to have to sync your controller desync it it's kind of a weird process that i'd rather not have to go through just kind of speed things up wired controllers seem to just be better anyway so you could just plug in unplug wrap it up be on your business but let me see how the triggers the tr the, bu the bumpers are silent. I mean, you can hear it. Like, you can hear it, but... Like, that that is what silent is. Now, when it comes to Splatoon, I have this problem, and I thought it was a gamepad curse originally on the Wii U, but for the Switch, I thought that playing on the Pro Controller, that I would have a better time with holding down trigger and doing all the splatoon things and whatnot however i still get a cramped feeling in my index finger so i'm kind of hoping that this solves my problem because no disrespect i actually do like this pro controller a lot however it is a little pricey and i know that 70 dollars is a lot for a freaking controller and that's why i only still have one of them anyway as far as this goes this is the more optimal choice since it's at 30 it's still official it's an official product however i want to just make sure that if w my guess is right that this john will help my finger and play sessions for splatoon last a little bit longer and a little more comfortable so we're gonna actually test this a little bit so that way i can see how these how this feels and as far as the charger goes i will make an update video later on just to basically tell you guys exactly my thoughts on it being used probably for like a week or two amount of time and i'll come back with it with the full review just for the nyko charger all right so we're here to test out how this hori controller feels uh while playing arms first and then i'll do a test with how it feels on uh, splatoon Okay. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like taking him out right now. So far, I mean, it feels pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm even though I'm just doing like a target thing, like the buttons feel nice. They're very responsive. Obviously, you could assume this being that it is a wired controller in the first place. Yeah, so far so good. Let me actually see how it would feel against the actual computer opponent okay so getting out grabs is fine yep that feels just just fine yeah, I mean, so far, I mean, it feels it feels fine to me. Okay, so let's go over and let's try to let's test this out on Splatoon. All right, so I'm gonna try it with Roller first, and we're gonna do a ranked match. Why not? By the the odd chances that I actually get put on a good team, might as well just try to kill two birds with one stone, right? All right, so again, we're trying to roll her out. So this is a, a weapon that utilize that requires you to just hold. 
to basically do the paint splat. Alright, we got a splat right there, boys. I see a roller coming up ahead. Nice. Got him. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Oh, snap. As I say that. Commentator's curse, I guess. Yeah, I mean, so far, it, it, it feels fine. Ooh, I got splatted by the splatter. Yeah, so far, I mean, I'm, you know, pressing the, the this trigger button really, really hard right now. And so far, it, it doesn't, you know, I'm not really getting any pains yet, which is really good. I'm actually... If this is, if this is the controller, the I will I will deem this the Splatoon controller permanently. And for thirty dollars, like it's busted. Like thirty dollars for guaranteed comfort, and especially when you do these jump splats, you gotta definitely, you know, you, I'm I'm pressing the John out of this right here. Wow! 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 I'm trying not to die right now. He got splatted on. Never a good thing to get splatted on, guys. <laughs> yeah, if honestly, like by now, I think I would have felt something by now. So after this, just to be fair, I'm gonna try out another gun just to make sure. Like I'll, I'll change my loadout. I've been, I'm playing how I normally would play roller and it seems flawless right now. I'm having a good experience. My, my finger's not getting jammed up. I'm, and I'm not sure if, you know, too many others might be going through the same thing that I might be going through. Um, but if you are, I will say I will vouch for this controller being the answer to anyone that might be having the same problem that I've been having. So, and get yeeted on. Let's go. Yeah, so far it feels good. I mean, even when I'm swimming, it doesn't feel, it doesn't hurt at all. Yeah, this is a really solid controller, guys. This is definitely worth the $30. And so far, even with the sticks elevated, I'm not really feeling that being, like, much of an issue either. Like, they feel, like, higher than they normally would on a, any other kind of controller. But these are feeling, uh, pretty nice. Oh, he thought he was smart! He <laughs> like... Yep, so we definitely won that one, but obviously that's not really the point. The point was to test how it felt, and I'm not gonna lie, um, I was doing this with my my hand, which is not normally a habit for me that I always do when I play this game, um, just because of the trigger um, finger that I have to have constantly with a game like Splatoon. Um, I was feeling it a little bit, but like I said, it wasn't that bad. And oh, look at that. On, sh on this video, I had now unlocked League Battles for myself, so yay me, I guess. But one last thing, I want to test out how fighting games feel with the D-pad itself. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so Girl the Mark of the Wolves is actually a game that I'm actually trying to push. This game is super fun. I was playing it a hell of a lot at Summer Jam 11 this past weekend. And like I said, it's super cool, super fun. Got a bunch of the Pokemon guys into it. Um, it's, a, it's a 2D fighter with some cool mechanics. All right, so let's see. Let's let's try to use the D-pad. I'm not like so. I'm a stick user. I was never really a pad user before, but for obviously this video, I will. Damn, I'm getting body. I will definitely be giving this a chance. All right. So this game has dashing, and you can run. Okay, so I'm hitting. I don't know if you see that. I'm hitting. I'm dashing in forward. And I'm jumping sometimes, so that could be a problem. Yeah, see, look, I'm dashing forward, but because of where, like, I have to literally be careful with where I, uh, I hit the button. Now, that's a DP motion right here. That was all a DP move. I'll try to do it again. Now, I have to be, like, very close to the down forward motion, it seems. No, it's not coming out. So let me try out. Let me try out how the stick feels. Yeah, see, so some of my inputs aren't uh, really like I have to be very careful with 
how far I go with the rotation of the stick itself. And same thing with the D-pad. Because um, as you see, some of my moves are coming out. But again, not... It's not like... Like right there, I wanted to do his... Uh, what's it called? His DP motion. And I'm not getting it. So let's see. So right so far, I'm not too impressed with the D-pad. The D-pad, it feels comfortable. It feels good. But as far as in gameplay, it's not a winner. I am unfortunately going to have to give that uh, a fail on that. The moves that I'm trying to perform, which which require uh, DP motions. I mean, some they're, they don't come out all the time. Like they are now, which is weird. So let's see. Let's. Yeah. I didn't even want to do one there. Oh, like, so you could juggle DPs? That's dope. Yeah, see, like, so I guess, like, it depends on the direction. Hmm, okay, so maybe I have to take that back. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure, because, like I said, it isn't every time, like, you, you would want it to be. Like, quarter circles are fine. Okay, so there you go. Okay. Oh, there it is. I guess it just... Okay, so maybe maybe I'm just being a little bit too rough on it. Yeah, that's the heavy version. There's the light version. Now, let me let me see what how what it what happens when you when you don't use it cuz I'm sure this is where things get a little complicated. Yeah, so being that you're getting to roll yeah you can't get dps out of using this at all i don't yeah so like like i'm sure if you wanted to play games that you wanted just a directional pad um without the rolling motions you would play so maybe like mario or something like that not odyssey i'm talking about like the classic jobs but if you were to play anything like those games maybe that you could use something like this but for fighting games i highly do not recommend it uh, doesn't work um, but if you if you want to use the d-pad I'm I will say that you have to be very careful and focus in on the precision um, when performing the moves because like I at the in, in the beginning of playing Garo I was having some difficulty um, but once I uh, started to uh, you know feel out that okay you have to like really be careful with it then you know started to do a little bit better but it isn't you know it isn't like all the time like it's not consistent i should say so if you guys have any questions please feel free to ask me anything in the comments below like share subscribe hit me up on twitter and on discord especially on discord make sure to follow me on twitch so you can talk to me about these products and much much more and make sure to check out my patreon to support your boy and the channel if you like what i'm doing here and if you'd like to see me doing this full time i would definitely appreciate it if you could even donate a dollar and just make some kind of pledge that would be really appreciated and i'll see y'all next time